Hello, internet. It is, what is, what's the day? It is Monday, January 10th. Happy Monday. How are you? Um, so today I have for you, as you can see up there, the Apple iPad YouTube review. Um, the uh, YouTube app for the iPod, the iPhone, and the iPad can't be found in the App Store. It comes preloaded on the device, all three devices, and you can't erase it. So it's always there. Um, it's this little one right here. Click on that. Loading up. And oh, and all these tabs right down here. Personally, me the i on the iPhone. Not this is. I would definitely not recommend this for the iPhone. For the iPhone and iPod, I definitely recommend m.youtube.com, which is YouTube's mobile dev mobile website on the internet safari this is an app on the actual device you can't like get out of it or navigate away from youtube m.youtube on iphone and ipod definitely on this it just works the um the display is really crisp and um the only thing the only drawback of this you can't view a channel or like subscribers and statistics um so first thing we're gonna do tabs okay first tab featured all the featured videos are right here um, see the, uh, you can see the title, the views, who was uploaded by, and the percent of thumbs up. For example, this video has 93% thumbs up. Then we go to top rated. And there we have three uh, separate tabs up here. Today, this week, all. Then most viewed. Again, today, this week, all. Which is great, I, um, because everything is so compact and, like, squished together on the iPhone and the iPod for this YouTube app that it just doesn't go well together which is why on my iPhone I use m.youtube which is a lot easier to watch videos and now they just upgraded the whole entire mobile website so now it's like HD so it's really really good um and then you go to favorites the videos I favorited scroll down and then subscriptions which is a great thing right here I, I currently have no new videos in my subscription Scroll, these are all my subscript. actually no. This is sort of the improvised version of the subscriptions. People who upload videos more are over here, because I definitely have a lot more subscriptions than this, but if I had not any subscription uploads, they would appear right here. Also, I can edit, and I could unsubscribe from anyone right here. And then, of course, little sign out tab right up there, and then we go to my videos, which are all nicely displayed here. Look at the uh, thumbs up ratings. Um, top 10 movies of 2010, 100% thumbs up. Another video, Anton Dodson, a new music video. Chimney Intruder, 92% up. Um, so let me just go to a video right here. Click on one of my videos. It'll automatically when you click on it. You can make it smaller by clicking that. And right here, you're actually watching it like a real YouTube video page, like you would on your computer. You're watching the video while you can uh, scroll through, read the description. Then right on the side, we have a search bar, a tab to go back to my videos, related videos, more from, which would be more of my videos. And when you go to more from, there's a little subscribe button. It says more from Steven Steele, and then a little subscribe button. And then comments. Um... All the comments, you can just scroll through, load more comments, which um, refreshes the page, as well as it loads more comments. And it's all right here. Great audio, video quality. But, uh, yeah. Also, there's tabs on top of the video, like add. I can add to my favorites or any playlist. Currently, share. I can email to someone. Like and dislike, I would be able to press those, but it's my video, I can't like or dislike it. And then flag, and all those buttons are right there. And the description with all the clickable links that will redirect you to Safari. So that's awesome. And go back to this, then when you're done with that, press a little button and full screen again. So yeah. So that's awesome. Um, definitely on the iPad, again, use the YouTube app, but on the iPhone and the iPod Touch, 
use m.youtube, which I'm going to pull up quick just to give you guys a little comparison. m.youtube.com. Alright, pulls it up. It's, um, it's okay. It's a really nice display. Again, a really nice display. But I don't like the fact that it's in Safari and it's, everything you click redirects you somewhere. I feel a lot better um, in the regular YouTube app. Again, go to little nine square thing, sign in. It basically is the mobile website, just bigger. But definitely, I suggest you use the YouTube app that comes pre-installed on the iPad. So hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you tomorrow with the Backbreaker Football Review. Um, so yeah, remember to press that little subscribe button right up there, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace off.